my uh, my assumption was obviously incorrect. I wondered why there was a notification hadn't popped up. Have they changed that, by the way? So I'm sure it just went 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 as you went up the line and you could go back and choose another one for just 1,000. Was that in the patch? Because that does make more sense, actually. Otherwise, you just take all the level one ones dead early and get a good start on stuff. I don't know if I could stomp the Holy Roman Empire. It would be one hell of a challenge. He's got 30,000. I could actually do it. Can I do that? Declare war. Seize du jour lands. It's one. I have no claim on that, unfortunately. There's nothing I can really push here. How would I get a claim on that? I'd have to have someone who actually... If I married somebody in who then didn't get it, I need someone who has a claim. Um, what? Oh, hang on. So she married... She's from, she's ours, Adam de la Pole. He has a claim on the Earldom of Wiltshire. Okay, that's not how it works. They change it so that no matter what legacy you choose, the first one will cost 250, second 750. Ah, I see, so it increases. It does make sense, that. Um, because uh, it's not just the case that the, the ones later at the tree are powerful and the, the ones to go for. It's that, they, that if, you, if you stack the early ones for cheap renown, that makes you uh, very effective as well, so I can understand that change. Um, I should really read patch notes and stuff I'm playing. How can we manufacture... Well, let's take a look at this. He has a claim on it. Is he a family member? Wow. So if my nephew, Massive, becomes the next emperor of the Holy Roman Empire... Would I be able to claim that title as the dynasty head? That would... Okay, okay. So what we need to do is murder the Holy Roman Emperor. <laughs> is it giving me an option? It's 15%. I've got to do this. This is this scheme has got to be done. It's just got to be done. Who can? There's got to be loads of people who want in on this one, surely. Right. There's a few. I'm going to try this. Three should be enough. I don't want too many people in. It's gone to 95%. Can we put one of our gang on the throne of the Holy Roman Empire and then claim it? That's... For someone who started off, family member is a little Earl of Dublin. This has been one hell of a run. Murder en route. Who are we actually killing? Oh, this? Okay. I'm going to explore the plains myself because I am uh, a novice hunter and this will be fine. I gained some stress, but that's okay because our stress level is, is only 10. Murder. A bewinged messenger. I don't think I should do this because this always goes wrong. So it's too risky. Giving gifts, there's too big a chance of something going bad with that. I don't feel like there's any need for it. Oh god, I'm obese. You're at death's doorstep. <laughs> it's time to lose some weight. Um, yeah, lose that weight. Lose it. Do we have a bloody uh, doctor still? Okay, yeah, you, you keep me alive, son. It's not far off now. I mean, I'm 70 years old in the medieval period. That's That's incredible. Obese and, and losing weight. We'll do what we can. It's fine. It kept me going for a couple more years. It kept the, uh, the rabble in line. It worked. It seems that Emperor Wenceslav... Wenceslav? Wenceslas. Emperor Wenceslas is tightening security at court, opening to track down traitorous schemers. My fellow plotter, Stefana, is concerned that she might have attracted some unwanted attention. She'll no longer be... I trust her. How good is she at this? No, she's not. How good is he at this? He's better. Right, her trail to me ends now. She leaves the plot. That's fine. 
Does that advance any? It's still fine. So I'm dead. Oh, that ends the murder plot. That's terrible. Right, this is going to be... This is going to be a very interesting time indeed. Oh. Right, put that on three in case I forget to pause this. You have lost patronage of the Order of Alcantara Holy Order. That's okay. We need to start working this back. The vassals are not entirely upset, I am pleased to say. Right, we're probably going to be hosting feasts and calling hunts. Repay the loan? Yeah, send the money back. We're getting rid of that. We have cash in the bank, so that's okay. Um, council positions. Right, lifestyle. I think we're definitely going. I mean, intrigue sounds really good, but I'm going to go diplomacy to start with. Um, does he have a... doesn't have any benefit to anything, does he? I mean, he's got learning. Oh, he has some... No, I don't know what I don't know what his initial thing was, but I mean, what would I get out of learning? Is he already a theologian? I mean, he's already got that, but I don't think. Well, I've never paid any attention to this, but I'm going to guess that there's nothing in this. This is going to make give me a massive benefit to. Um, to keeping my throne. I don't think so. I think we're going to go for the uh, diplomacy. Time to make a new faith. If we've got the points for it, we could. Right, foreign affairs, family focus. Diplomacy, fertility. And the other thing is control I could go for with authority. No, I'm going to go for diplomacy. Because I like the stuff in here. I think there's a lot of really good stuff in here. We'll go for family focus. Yep. Go for that. Uh, that's cool. Okay. He's not very well. Do we have... Well, we have a physician. See who's on the council. Oh, it's empty. Right. Well, this... this oh, he loves me because of my... I'm going to guess it's because of theologian. Right. Chancellor. Oh, this guy's... He's legendary. This is a legendary chancellor. He'll like me. He'll do the job well. Can't see anyone else. Powerful vassal. Right, sign. Get working straight away on domestic affairs. Uh, the steward. Who's my best steward of the realm? I'd love to put someone powerful into this position to keep them happy. But it looks like they're all... Sh oh, it's not too bad. Um, he's no good for anything else. He'll want a position. He'll be dead soon. That's fine. We might need to sway him, but that, that's okay. We can work with that. The Marshal. There must be a powerful vassal who's quite good at this, surely. There's this Duke. He's not great. No, he's already my Chancellor, so... You're a theologian? That's the best perk... Okay, so if I actually change and start my own faith, that won't get me... Um, that might cause massive problems with the realms holding together, though, surely. Because won't all the rulers and all the vassals think, well, I'm of a different faith? So the best I've got is a level... No, I think we're going to we're gonna have to worry about that. I need, a, I need a damn... Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong stat there. But he's going to be crap, isn't he? If he's down here, he's a 10. I might put him in just because... Yeah, let's, let's assign him because just to keep him happy, and he can do his uh, he can do his old control of Devon. Yeah, he can put him in controlling Devon. That'll keep him busy, give him some time. Uh, which leaves me with a spy master. Please tell me I've got someone really good. I have this duke. Oh, he's my marshal. He would have been better in that role. I need a seriously good spy master. This guy is good. Uh, and he, he doesn't hate me. So let's assign him that role. I'm going to start working up the sway. Get my spy master to love me. You get working up secrets in Dublin. There can be a lot of blackmail come out of this. You watch. Game's about to end in 1453. At least try it before you switch to another game next week. 
Well, we've got another 40 years left, of which this guy, he's not going to be around. He's not going to be around in 40 years' time. He might not be around in one year's time. So, I want to try and hold the Empire together. Let's see what the factions are like. Oh, my God. The responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown and fold my arms. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. It's not going to be very much looking at this. He wants the kingdom of France. We need to do something with this. We need to, we need to blackmail him. Or something. It says he's too weak to send... Oh, that must just... That has to update, right? If the only member, that has to update. I have nothing that I'll send him a gift. Send the gift. Hmm, this is updating. Which isn't going to be good. I think send an ultimatum in eight months. That military power can't be right. Something doesn't look quite right there. Yes, I thought it's it's, it's adjusting. Well, let's take a look at um well, I might have the piety for this. So if I create a new Christian faith. So if I do this. Get out of the way. Go away. Go away. Choose name. Hmm. Crime doctrines. Uh I'm really not comfortable doing this, so I'm not going to. I just want to... It doesn't sound like an Irish thing to do either. So I'm not going to do it. We'll try it out in another game sometime. I don't want to sort of break the kingdom up. I want to see what score I can get at the end of the game or what happens. So, Romance. Declaration of love. It's a bald woman. As I push aside the sheets to lay down, I find a little scroll resting on my bolster. Someone has entered my chambers unnoticed. A chill runs down my spine. My graceful star, lord of my heart, I can keep my feelings secret no longer. From this day on, I'll do everything in my power to prove my loyal affections. Who is this? She's just my guest. Um, I don't particularly want to get seduced, so let's end that. Do I have a... I have an heir, yeah? I do, with a great big bushy beard. I think my heir is going to be coming to the forefront pretty soon. So I'm head of the dynasty, which is good. Marxism, Marxism. I see what you did there. Okay, so we're managing some of these. There's only one that's a major issue. And what we're going to do is we're going to then bribe as many people as we can. Mm, we are swaying someone. Send them a gift. We're going to have to pay some money out if we want to control things, so... Whoever we can pay, we shall. I'm going to have to repeat this when I... Um... Right, okay. So I've got some people liking me there. I've got my Chancellor working things over. There's two years for that, so there's time for that to make a difference. These people... Well, some of those are going to be included, aren't they? See, someone just dropped out there. Um, we will send. We will. We will send the money. Pay them all. We might come back to blackmail them all shortly. That's good. There's people liking me. The the power is dropping. Okay. This is the closest one. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. I don't fancy a civil war at this point. Right, let's speed this up a bit and see what happens. Espionage lovers. Okay, so who's the one? I don't think I can I don't think I can blackmail. I can blackmail, okay. I might as well blackmail. I don't think it's gonna make any difference with her, but we might as well get into the habit of blackmailing everyone. I've got plenty of money to buy mercenaries if I need to. A feast? Yes, it'll be my pleasure. Feasting sounds... Oh, I could host my own feast as well, actually. Let's... Um, the Summer Palace. Let's upgrade the Summer Palace. That'd be nice.
me bankrupt myself on um, <laughs> on upgrades. Is that still building? Upgrade the castle. That was expensive. The bailiff's office. Yes, we'll have more taxes, please. Upgrade that one. And this one. No, they're still having that. Okay, that's fine. Right, cool. How rich is the Archbishop? Let's take a little look. He is... Yeah, he's 22,000. He really likes me, though, so he's going to be giving me a lot of levies and, and gold, so... That's worth 63 gold a month. And a lot of levies. 15,000 out of a possible 19,000. That's good. Right then, open up the beers. Let's get partying. Feast all over my new shirt. Duke Fechnach has thrown up all over me. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I gain stress because I'm a drunkard. But I gain higher standards of courtesy than for prestige. So I gain stress because I'm temperate. And he gains some opinion. Oh, well, I, I, I'm a temperate drunkard. Yeah, that was, the, that was the character that came up here. Temperate drunkard. Very odd. Feast is dwindling down. I find myself deep in conversation with Earl Copta. Cop, cop that. Inquires about my opinion on friendship. Something he's deeply interested in. Um, I'll, I will go with that. I'll lose stress and gain some opinion. Turning home. I lose stress. The Duke gains opinion. We need to... Um, what can we do, actually? Revoke the Holy Order lease. Well, if they don't... What will happen that? It costs 500 piety. Yeah, I'll have that back. I will host a feast. Indulge in drink. Work off some stress. Let's host a feast. Hang on, how stressed am I? Not much. We'll do the feast. Which gets rid of that. I might have to watch about everything else. <laughs> yes, I'm not the healthiest, most stable of characters. I was in the middle of murdering people, wasn't I? The Holy Roman Emperor, for one thing. Because how is that going to work? Has his primary air changed? When's the Celeste? Primary air is... Yes, the primary air has now changed, so... Right, I need to kill this guy. This is the guy I need to kill. Because I, I want to get uh, massive on the throne here. So let's invite some people to this. King Bernard of Bohemia. Wow. Does he need a big bribe? He's got... Look at the scheme power. That should do nicely. Uh, let's see. There is nothing like a good feast. It reminds us all what is good in life and the company is not too bad. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. Something special. I just do what feels right. Okay. I think I'm being chatted up here. Mutual spirits. Good evening. Nice. Yes. He you could do with being friends with him, definitely. Uh, this is... No, 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 no messengers. Messengers, I don't like messengers. Feast. Gain prestige. Everyone gains opinion for 10 years. Right, can I hold this together? Schemes discovered. Curses. Screw it, I'm going ahead with this. I'm going to invite a load more people. This duke, that's going to put us straight back in there. Bribe. There's a lot of people willing for this guy to die. Bribe. We've got enough power here. Yep, it's back up in it. We've got 11%. I'm, I might just put another, just to be safe. They know about it anyway. So, come on. Oh, we've got a decision. A feast. I have more important matters to attend to. Too many feasts will be bad for me. Right. He's, he's going to die. Change faith to fight them. Hmm. Some local commoners are moving to St. Johnson, the capital of my spy master. Take this gold and make sure you're heard. Okay, so... You're, you're fine. What's the situation with this? Now, oh, this, look at this. There's so much stuff going on here. My vassal, Duke Orst, has accused my vassal, Duke Flannin, of having copulated with his lover, Mayor Letizia. 
Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. I never would have thought. So Duke, having copulated with... Who's accused my vassal? Duke Flannan. Keep him open. Dirty, dirty boy. Right, pause. Can I blackmail you? No. Then we have no interest in that. A claim on Thomond. Oh, go for it. Lies and more lies. Bring it on if they're going to try that. Who's getting named now? We've got Angus. I'm going to pronounce this as Angus. Have we had a Jotun Mike? We haven't had a Dazzy Flick for a while. Let's go for a Dazzy Flick. And then Jotun Mike next. I'm sure there'll be another one. So, I need to... The Faith Lizard is a crusade. Shall I help finance it? Or shall I... No, we will fight. We will fight this. Don't know what the crusade's for. Beneficiary. Betrothed can marry. Giant. Okay, that can be fun. What have we got? The uh, vassal Duke Scofter. There's evidence he's participating in secret rituals. Right, that's, that's fine. Let's blackmail this son of a bitch. Blackmail. You witch. Call the hunt. A beneficiary. Let's appoint a beneficiary. Who shall I put? Someone of the O'Fergal line. Cousins, cousins, cousins. Um, Welsh, Irish. It's looking good at the moment. Looking at that strength there. A younger cousin. Well, I say younger. She looks younger. She's 31. Fangus. I'm not sure it was pronounced Fangus. It might have been. I, I, I don't know. My son and knight. But he's not my heir, is he? Go on, that would be a good one to put in. Mind you, if it, makes him, if it makes him powerful. Let's just make sure he's not. No, he's not the one in line. Let's put him in. Let's put him in. My son and knight. Select beneficiary. That'll be interesting to see where he ends up if we do something useful in a crusade. What's this crusade for? The kingdom of Visca. All oh, right, that's that's quite a decent one then. We shall uh, we shall take part in that. Okay. So we've got to keep an eye on the factions. I've got to get this down somehow. Um. I mean, what can I do to? He's gonna like me, I think. Someone's plotting to kill my son. We must stop the villain behind that. In choppy waters. Okay, this guy's going to die in a horrible boating accident. Yes. 95% chance we're going to set his rowboat on fire with a flaming arrow. Set the plan in motion. He's dead. Claimed by the cold embrace of the ocean. Unfortunately, the archer couldn't be found. That's good. So the boat went up in flames. He's dead. All passengers ended up in the water. Fine fabric gets so heavy when wet. Such a tragedy, which puts... Massive, I think. I'm not sure what happened there, but either someone approved of my plotting and scheming, or they maybe got the message. But, um... Oh, situation in Poland. What happened here? What happened here? Because those are not of... Oh, yes, he is of my line. She should be of my line then. No? Oh, they haven't got kids yet. Is that what's happened? Oh, they haven't got kids yet. That's fine. Okay. They've got time to get kids. I had a panic then because I couldn't see the little family blood drop. But that's okay. So that's, gone, that's going well. I can't remember what we were doing in Hungary. We'll come back to look at that. We were, what were we trying to scheme over? Holy Roman... Oh, the Holy Roman Empire. So the primary heir is now going back to Massive, my cousin... Which could be good. Uh, we won't be able to murder him, will we? It's 5%. Has he got something about being cautious or something? Fort Thirst. It's a low opportunity. We might be able to push that. Uh, we're going for the... Ki Where the hell is the kingdom of... Is this it? Hang on. 
That's mine. This can't be right. Explain this. Where's the rest of the kingdom? I think the war will, will focus on... It's not being declared. I think it includes land down here. I'm pretty sure it does. So let's hope that's what that's all about. Um, we were working hungry over, as I recall. So who's married to what? His child. Ah, that's what we were doing. Okay. She's betrothed to one of my family. And she is only 15. Nice. So they should marry. And that, that, when that happens, we can start murdering people. Schema discovered. My daughter-in-law that was plotting against my son. Oh, right. You are, you are so in jail. So in jail. Wow. She's trying to murder her husband. You obnoxious fiend. In prison. I don't know what he's going to think about this. Oh, someone's become my marshal that I probably didn't want. A renegade. He's fled to the countryside. Traitor. Does that mean he's gone as well? He's got claims. He's unlanded. Hmm. Awkward. I wonder if I could have just exposed that. Stop. There's too much stuff going on. A feast. Yes, it'll be my pleasure. Let's go. We will have another feast. Hey, Satan. You love watching this game, but never played one of them. Wouldn't have a clue where to begin. It is difficult. And the tutorial, like tutorials in all Paradox games, don't really give you the information. Um, I played a bit through Crusader Kings 2 beforehand, so I had some knowledge. And chats helped me out quite a bit with this one, I've got to say. Uh, but just watch, um, or watch some of my replays on YouTube or other guys. And there are tutorials on this that are help. I haven't seen any tutorials, so I can't recommend one for this game. But uh, just watching other players gives you a good idea of what to do, I think. I will admit, I, I try not to play these sort of games where I min-max and, and um, stack particular stats and things. So I find that to be like power gaming. I like to try and play it as with most war games, along with the flavour of the, the idea of the game that creates a bit of a, a bit of a story. I find it more fun. The conversation partner. Who is this? Oh, this is uh, Count Nils. A treacherous villain. Let's talk about you instead. I'll take... Yes, OK, I'm compassionate. Oh, yeah, I worked so hard to get this guy compassionate. There's nothing like a feast. It reminds us all of what is life. I have no option here. Lose stress. <laughs> End up uh, an alcoholic. He's already got the red nose look. Mayor Talon. Cries out between you know, troop compositions. Let's say... Um, yeah, it's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. And return home. Lose stress. And people like me more. So it, it's all about just keeping control of things. And a lot of that is just keeping your vassals happy. Uh, through whatever means necessary. It's not so much about military conquest, I find. You can play it like that, but uh, it's, it's a lot more about the intrigue and scheming and alliances and stuff. Lovers. Secret held by Duchess Mirich. She has taken Eric as a lover. Right, so can I blackmail her? We shall blackmail her. If you, if you find out secrets on any of your vassals, blackmail all of them, because it stops them joining these factions like that. Made a difference. Someone married. The crusade is on. Right, I better slow this down. It's going a bit fast. 14, 16. Uh, so I'm going to guess that we have... Yeah, we start here. We've got a lot of lot of land. We, we have more men than them, so that's fine. Um, I'm going to raise... All my... Oh, I can raise them here, look. If I click on that. Raise everything. This is also an opportunity. If you have any, like, knights, vassals that detest you, mine aren't too bad now, but if, early on especially, you'll, you'll have lots of people that absolutely hate your guts. Um, force them into war, picking force. So they become a knight and set all the others to allow. So that one 
guarantees to become a knight. Put them in charge of 200 men and walk them into an army of 10,000 and they will get killed or captured. And that generally sorts the issue out. Very useful. No, it's not a take over the world one. It was initially just take over Ireland, because I started as the Earl of Dublin. I don't know why the music's so loud when that kicks off. Uh, started as the Earl of Dublin, we took Ireland, and I thought, mm, maybe Britain. And in, in getting Britain, we also ended up with part of Norway, because they had part of this up here. And then we, we just seemed to have ended up in France as well, because I was ahead of the dynasty, and I, I could claim the throne because of one of the dynasty members, of a, a lesser dynasty member, was King of France. I thought, yep, I'm having that. And uh, now we're just trying to put family members onto thrones everywhere. It's kind of cool. You don't like min-maxing this either? Yeah, it's a story, right? And the crazy things that happen that makes this game fun. Exactly. That's how I play Hearts of Iron 4 as well. I tried to play that as like the flavour of a World War II game. Uh, as soon as you start min-maxing this in particular, uh, so you can beat it every time. Well, I mean, there's a challenge in that. And if you like that, great. It's, it's cool. But I like, I like the story, the, the ridiculous events that happen. I find that to be the most fun. Right, so we are going straight over the border. And then we'll split our armies up as we go. I have no idea if I'm going to have good siege commanders for this. Let's take a look at what we've got. Do we even have any siege commanders? Oh, we have one. Doesn't want to be in this army, though. We have two. Okay, so there's going to be a couple of units with bombards. <laughs> 360. If I put a siege commander in there, the sieges should go so fast with that. 